Ah, lo siento. Déjeme ir atrás y buscar cambio. No, 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 no. Está bien. Su precio fue muy generoso. ¿Está segura? Señor, mi nieto me ha estado rogando por una. ¿Puede usted creerlo? Imagínese que sea rico en talento. Bueno, gracias, querido. Usted es muy amable. Estoy muy contento en ayudarla. Mire, ¿usted da lesión? No, en realidad no doy lesión. Está bien. En este mundo hay tanta información en el Internet. Es increíble a lo que este mundo ha llegado. Dígame usted a mí. Good afternoon. I see reading books have become part of your everyday attire. Hey, um, yeah, just reading another fascinating novel by Donnell Saneville. I'm just trying to keep up with book club. Well, too much of anything, good or bad, could be detrimental, so be cautious. A lady stopped by today. She was looking for you. So my wife is out there. Should I call Adriana right now and tell her I have a plus one for the wedding? I'm serious. Okay. What's my affiliation with this lady? What did she want? Sorry, dude, where's your keyboard? Uh. Why? Why? Because I've never seen you go a week without working on music. Ever. And a lady stops by asking if you're home to inquire about a foot pedal, which led me to my discovery. Discovery of what? Why did you sell your keyboard? Well, primarily I didn't want to start a habit of becoming a hoarder. If you have no use for something, get rid of it. So you purchased a new one. Is that even a valid question? I just told you I didn't need it, so why would I get another one? I, I thought a keyboard was vital to the process of creating music. Was vital. What does that mean? Sardu, what's going on? Hello? Have you ever seen shows like, no, 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 better yet. Have you ever auditioned for shows like X Factor, American Idol, et cetera, et cetera? Or gone online to realize just how many producers and songwriters there are? How does one find themselves in a fortunate situation to be noticed or needed out of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people? What, what are you trying to explain? I knew what I was getting into, <laughs> or, or did I? I mean, perhaps if my pathetic work ethic would have shown more urgency if I knew about networking Sardu. or taking Sardu. advantage Sardu. of social Sardu. media. Sardu. Just answer the question. I didn't ask for riddles or equations. Why did you sell your keyboard and not replace it? I don't need it. Okay. So, how are you continuing to create, and how about your clients? There's an abundance of my kind out there. To think that I have the audacity to believe that I'm one of the select few chosen, I must, I must be. <laughs> Tell me this. What's the difference between the industry and winning the lottery? That was a beautiful speech. Now what? What could you possibly do if it seems like you're giving up on your dreams? I'm not giving up on my dreams. I'm just awake. 
reality check. I see. So now you can be hired by someone else permanently so that you can help fulfill theirs, being that you're awake. Whatever. Where is this coming from? You, you are tremendously talented. And maybe that's the problem that I have. Sardu. People say that I'm talented at many things. Good at many things. But I can't seem to take in the fact that I'm not great at anything. Put that up for the bait. Would you rather be the jack of all trades or would you rather be great at absolutely one thing? Yeah. Well, maybe your greatness is being good at many things. How else would you be so creative? You need to address the root of the real issue here. If you have this theory all figured out, enlighten me. I want to take you somewhere. Uh, no thank you. I don't want to seem like the grumpy one, but I'm really not in the mood to go anywhere right you now. You owe me. And those are your words, especially after I helped you pass Professor Katita's class, even though I told you not to worry about it. Okay, you... That now we're even. Okay, let's go. Now, can you reiterate your points to me on giving up on your dreams? Wait, I'm sorry, on being awake? Did you really bring me all the way over here to talk about this? Yes, to help you figure out what's wrong. Artists lose momentum when they allow their art to become work instead of the original reason for doing it, which is out of love. So, are you telling me that you're willing to give up on Something that you love, or are you quitting a job? There's a difference. Come on, Naomi. You're already aware of the different avenues that I was involved in. I guess by popular demand, my work wasn't meant to have an impact. Popular what? What God gave you isn't for what other people think. You had purpose long before anyone had an opinion. Art is not a job. Anyone can be born with talent. The only honest workload is the repetitive practice to turn it into a skill, which is your part. My part? What if I already did my part? Are we really going to stand here and tell me that my approach has been wrong this whole time? My mom did a heroic job raising my brothers and I. And my dad... Not everything out there blowing in the wind has skill. Most of it is about being at the right place at the right time or having a connect. You have a connect. Really? Who? God. If you want to pull my cards like that, you can go work in Vegas. Don't you think I already know that? And what about being at the right place at the right time? As a kid, did I ever say, when I grow up, I want to be a man standing out in front of a cemetery, questioning the very journey that I'm on. A cemetery is one of the richest places in the world. I brought you here to see where you will contribute. Contribute? Contribute what? I've tried contributing and ended up not feeling any different from any of these corpses that are in the ground. Okay, first of all, calm down. Why did you bring me here? Sardu, you know what makes a person rich? Just ask these people. Some will say money, family, service to a cause. Do you understand how many people buried here died with dreams that were never fulfilled, ideas that were never put into motion? Grudges that were never settled, potential that was never tapped into, all these gems that could have turned into something rich and amazing, just left inside, never to manifest. People are supposed to die empty, not full of dreams. It's difficult. Don't let the gimmicks get into your head of what you love doing. We don't help baby chicks hatch out of an egg because they have to build muscle. 
your struggle is giving you strength for your purpose. Just do what you love and the egg will crack when you're ready. Listen, I brought you here so you could be alone and think before you make any drastic decisions. Take your time. Hey, thank you for waiting. Oh, no big deal. I uh, do need to run, though. Okay, um, this is for you. I know Naomi used to do this, but, um, how's tutoring today? She's made a lot of progress, mm. yeah. I'll uh, fill you more in tomorrow when I drop off again. Okay, thank you. Sounds good. Give me a high five. Ouch! 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 Ooh, ouch! Call the doctor! Doctor Angelica? Ouch! I'm not a doctor, but I can be, Mommy said. I can be anything that I want. No, you can't. Sardu! You can't be anything that you want. Unless you work hard and smart for it. Because it's not just going to be handed to you. Repeat after me. I can be. I can be. Anything. No, you have to say it louder than that. Say, I can be. I can be. Anything I want. Anything I want. If I. If I work hard. What? I didn't say that part yet. You're too slow. Oh, yeah? You want to race? Okay. Okay, no. Let's go get ice cream. Let's get ice cream. Cinnamon, raisin, brown sugar, fudge chocolate, vanilla, peppermint ice cream with olives. Okay, but no ice cream for you. Doctor's orders. Fine. Okay. Thank you for today. We're family, right? Yes, and it reminded me that it takes heat and pressure to make a diamond, and I can't subtract myself from who I am when things get hot. That's what the ice cream is for. Okay, can we go now? So the questions are coming in hot. We have one from New Jersey, at Golden Poet, and that's with two N's and two T's. They just tweeted. Why isn't it worth selling your dream and settling for something safe? To be honest, you might just want to sell your dream or play it safe. Whether your dream is worth it or not, it all depends on that scenario you have in your mind. Now what? For starters, never misplace the love of the art. Who are you talking to? Most dreams are like ice cream. It's delightful. It brings comfort, a sweet pick-me-up. But in the ice-cold seasons of your life, that dream ain't gonna cut it. You gotta survive the winter. But few dreams are vicious. It brings this, this plague that you can't ignore. It eats at you like a disease. You have to do something about it. No matter what season you're in, it demands your attention. It's a matter of life and death. That's worth 